In 2011, Liseberg had made a huge investment for a new ride. Aren't you removing the great view of the park? Was a question that by the time CEO Mats Vedin got during an interview. No, he replies, we're just making it more exciting. This is a culture stop theme park documentary about something that I don't like. A drop or free fall tower. Please subscribe to Poster Stop. Do it now, I'm waiting. And the like button. Okay, good, thank you so much for that. Let's drop into this mini documentary about atmosphere. Welcome to season 2 of our theme park documentary series here on Coaster Stop. In season 1 of our theme park documentary series, we talked about Spaceport and Lisa Tunnel, and we ended that documentary with Lisa Tunnel being closed by the end of the 2010 season to make way for something thrilling. But Lisa was not demolishing the Great Tower, they just made it faster way faster, at least in one direction. The ride's old watch cabin was removed from the tower and a new gondola was built. The gondola seats 36 riders in a circle facing outwards. The gondola is then connected to a catch car which pulls the gondola to the top with the help of huge steel cables. The gondola and the catch car is made by 50 tons of steel. The tower itself is 3.1 meters in diameter. The gondola's diameter is 10.3 meters. That means that the seats are 3 meters out from the tower. Already here it is a tad bit scary. To make it more scary, I just mentioned that the gondola is 10.3 meters in diameter. Have in mind that the ride starts in a basement, and the hole that the gondola needs to pass through is only 13 meters wide. That makes this ride even more scary. I already mentioned that the ride is fast in one direction. The climb to the top is only made in 1.5 meters per second, so you can really enjoy the view on your way up. The height of the ride is 116 meters, that is 146 meters above sea level. Atmosphere is three times as tall as Baldur's highest point. Three times. Imagine stacking three boulders on top of each other. That is very tall. A great thing about the construction of atmosphere is that Lisebae filmed parts of it, and that's good for us since we can use some of those videos for this mini documentary. So thank you so much, Lisebae, for documenting this. Except from removing the cabin, building and installing the new gondola and catch car, the ride needed a stronger system to pull the gondola and catch car to the top of the tower. Therefore some new and really powerful motors was installed in the top of the tower, which you actually can walk up to. Yeah, there's uh, stairs inside the tower. But that is not all that you can find inside the Tower of Atmosphere. The old cabin needed a counterweight, and that one weighed 52 tons. Atmosphere also needs a counterweight, but that weight is slightly reduced from the 52 tons. The ride also needed some type of brakes. Without them you would only ride this ride once. Some huge magnet brakes was installed close to the bottom of the tower to slow down the gondola before ending the ride. I do have to say that I really enjoyed the sound of the magnet brakes of atmosphere. 
During Lisbeth Stunet's time, the tower was pink, and with the conversion to atmosphere, it was supposed to get a new light blue gray color. But there was no time before the opening, so it was pink for some time longer. I have not found information on when the ride got its new color, so if you have any idea, please let me know in the comments. Let me take you through the whole ride experience. You enter a somewhat themed queue and make your way to the ride. When it is your turn, you pull down the restraints, which also secures with a seatbelt. Your slow ascent to the top starts by slowly leaving the basement and reaching a bit of water spray, which gives a foggy look. The ride to the top takes around 100 seconds. The gondola will stop. And in a matter of seconds, the catch car will open its hooks to drop you all the way back to the basement. You will experience a free fall for around 3 seconds and reach a top speed of 110 km per hour before hitting the magnet brakes at around 4 Gs, or 4 times your own weight. After the ride, the catch car is slowly lowered with steel cables to grab the gondola for a new set of riders. Lisebae did as so many times before, a great job teasing the ride before opening. The commercial is, in my own opinion, brilliant. The ride opened in April 2011 as the tallest freefall tower in Europe. It was initially a hit, a very popular ride for the park. In my opinion, I think it was quite dull. Understand me right here, it is really tall, but the drop is not as powerful as I had hoped for. And it still isn't. I would much rather take back Höjdskräcken since the faster than free fall drop, even if it's not as tall, yes. Atmosphere is manufactured by Intamin and the cost was 50 million Swedish crowns or roughly 5 million euros. That's quite a big investment for a re-investment in a ride, in my opinion. But not the mini documentary nor the investments stop here. For this season 2022, Baldur is still not in operation. The park is hard at work with the retrack, but it takes a long time due to several reasons. This is why the park felt the need to do something. To open a new season with one of the main acts being sick is not good for the audience. Afraid that the park would lose guests, they had to look into their options. The result is Atmosphere VR, a 500,000 euro investment for VR glasses and a video that plays in your glasses during the ride. Okay, I thought to myself, I'm sorry, but that doesn't sound very exciting. I've been on some roller coasters with VR and I really don't appreciate them. But I got reassured that this is the real deal. The VR of Atmosphere could possibly be one of the best VR experiences that have ever been made. One thing is for sure, it is the tallest VR experience in the world and probably the most intense. I will not try to describe the experience since it's quite impossible to give it justice, but it's a sci-fi adventure taking you through wormholes, galaxies and meetings with extraterrestrials. And there is something with an attack of robots. 
My judgment is this. Finally, a drop tower for me. I think this ride is really good now. And the slow ride to the top is now really great. The sensation of the drop is perfect too. Finally, atmosphere is a ride for me. Sadly though, there is a chance. The VR is not here to stay. According to Lisebay, it is only for summer 2022. If that is how it's going to be, we will have to wait and see. One thing is for sure though, the VR system is not just bought for one summer to then be placed in storage. Nope, I'm pretty sure that if the system is removed from atmosphere, it will be used in other rides in the future. Maybe already for Halloween. Since they're saying it's here for summer, now when I think about it, we are in Underlandet with a haunted ride experience. Oh yeah, I mean, Lisebay, I hope you're watching and make this a reality. If not for 2022, maybe for 2023. I know, a haunted ride in the bunny land is not perfect, but I so would like to see that happen. Atmosphere is not only a drop tower though, it is Gothenburg's biggest Christmas tree during Christmas. It has been part of the haunted house The Experiment during Halloween. The first year of The Experiment you walked in a haunted queue and then finished off with a ride in atmosphere. The staff was running around trying to scare you while you boarded the ride. Today the ride is not a part of the haunted house anymore. If you are one of those persons that just likes atmosphere for what it is, don't worry. Before taking a ride you can let them know if you want to ride without the VR glasses. Then you have the exact same ride as before. But have in mind, if you choose to use the VR glasses, you are not allowed to take them off during the ride. Atmosphere not being my favorite ride is still an iconic view of the park and I can't really imagine it not being there. I think that we will have this ride, or at least a tower, in the park for many, many years to come. And just because I am not that fond of the drop towers, doesn't mean that no one else can like them. I know that plenty of you watching this video loves atmosphere, and I'm so happy for you that we have this ride here at Lissabai. You have watched a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about the ride atmosphere at Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos and theme park documentaries. And thank you so much for watching.